Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And in this short video, we're going to deal with what we have called Type 5, type five Probabilities. There are probabilities where we want to calculate the probability of a z-score being greater than a particular value, where this value is a negative value. Okay, so let's just draw the curve with respect to this, with respect to the standard normal curve for the standard normal variable z. And that's a bell-shaped curve that's centered on zero. Uh, the horizontal axis represents the z-axis. And we're interested in z-scores being greater than a negative value. Well, all of our negative values are going to be on this side here, on the left-hand side of zero. We're interested in z values being greater than these negative values. Okay, so we're interested in z values that are to the right hand side of this. In other words, to calculate these probabilities, we need to calculate the probability uh, or the area to the right hand side under the curve. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at a particular example. So let's say we want to calculate the probability of observing a z score that's greater than minus 1.24 as an example. Well, the first thing we'll always do in these situations is we always draw the standard normal distribution, okay, and we always place our bounds on that particular curve. So in this case, it's a standard normal curve. It's centered on zero. The horizontal axis represents our z-axis. And minus 1.24 is over here somewhere. So this is minus 1.24. We're interested in probabilities where z scores are greater than minus 1.24. So we're interested in what is the area over this side of the curve. Okay. Now, we've got the same problem again that we've had previously, is that our tables only allow us to look up z scores that are positive. Yeah. But we know one trick that we can apply here, and it's due to the, one of the characteristics of the standard normal curve, which is that it's symmetrical around zero, is that we can always flip this curve over. Okay, so let's rotate the curve. Let's rotate, and let's see what we get. Okay, so when we rotate the curve, the curve is still going to be centered on zero, okay? but minus 1.24 is 1.24 units to the left-hand side of zero. So when I flip this over here, it's going to be 1.24 units to the right-hand side of 0. So that's 1.24 goes to negative 1.24 goes to 1.24. Now, what we can actually see what has happened here with this area in the tail is the area in the tail becomes the area in the tail over the right-hand side. And we can see that the area in the tail here is not shaded, so it won't be shaded here. But what is shaded is the other part of the area under the curve, which does not include the area in the tail. So that is this area here. Okay. So what we've just done is we've transformed our probability, which was with respect to a negative value, to now to be a probability of observing a z-score that is less than 1.24. Okay, so what we do is we go to our tables and we look up 1.24, yeah? So when we go to our tables uh, and when we come down the column to the first significant digit and the first decimal digit, we come down to 1.20. And the second decimal digit is a 4, so we're going to come across to 0 0.04. And we're going to triangulate and look that particular value up on our tables. So we're going to come down to 1.20 which is here, and we're going to come across to the column labeled 0 0.04, which gives us a value of 0 0.8925. So let's place that in here, that's 0 0.8925. Okay, so when we looked up 1.24 on our tables, we got a value of 0 0.8925. Now what we know about our tables is that every positive value we look up always represents the area to the left hand side of the positive value. So the area to the left hand side of 1.24 is 0 0.8925, which is exactly the area that we're looking for for this probability, which is equivalent to the area of the original probability with the negative value through rotation. In other words, the probability of observing a z-score greater than minus 1.24 is equivalent to the probability of observing a z-score less than 1.24, which is equal to 0 0.8925, or as a decimal, sorry, as a percentage, it's equal to 89.25% 
of the time. Okay guys, uh, so that concludes this short video on the calculation of type 5 probabilities. There are probabilities where we're interested in calculating the probability of a z-score being greater than a particular value where that value is negative. In other words, we're interested in calculating from a negative value all the area under the curve to the right hand side of it. Okay, so thank you for your time. My name is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland.